Yesterday's test came at Plymouth. With six straight wins behind them, Newcastle set about lowly Plymouth determined to hold on to their promotion place. It was a pity, though, that Kevin Dillon's shot didn't match Mickey Quinn's clever backheel flick, even though the ricochet almost went his way. But just as at St. James's 18 days earlier, United went behind to an early goal. The free kick finding Tommy Tynan and the veteran striker beating John Burridge with a smart header. But Newcastle are made of stern stuff these days. The pull of the first division is strong, and the two Kevins, Dillon and Brock, combined to set up the equaliser. When the cross came in, Mark McGee had to bend his back a little, but that's his 25th goal this season. Great stuff for the fans who travel to Devon. And after the break, and with the club's existing record of seven consecutive wins in their sights, Jim Smith's men chased the winner. And they felt they should have had it when Christensen's cross was headed on by McGee into the path of Quinn. And Mickey makes no mistake, but was ruled offside. Plymouth's best moment came when Sean McCarthy collected the long up and under, held off the challenge and saw United keeper John Burridge earn his corn and turn the shot to safety. Still Newcastle tried to come back, and with Christensen's control letting him down this time, United's top scorer felt the three points were there for the taking. We thought we could have won the game on the day after six straight victories, but to be fair to Plymouth, they battled away. In this division, you know, you don't expect any favours. It's, it's a hard division to get out of, and uh, you've got to win your games, you know. Looking back at the offside goal, did, did you agree with that decision? No, I mean, uh, when the ball was played in, Mark's flick, I was not offside. When I actually put the ball in, I was in offside position. But it, uh, the rule states that it, you know, it, it's as the ball's played, and I wasn't in an offside position as it was played. But the referee's decision is final, and the drop two points means Newcastle slipped back to third behind Sheffield United, who came from behind to win. Leeds drew, and 